while ago, I did a video on this little device. This is the Trond Bluetooth transmitter and receiver, and uh, it supports a pretty current version of Bluetooth and also supports aptX, which is a better quality version, a uh, better quality codec used for Bluetooth. And this really just, it just allows you to have Bluetooth where it doesn't exist. So if you have a device that doesn't have Bluetooth, but that has a headphone socket, you can plug it in and you can transmit it to maybe some Bluetooth headphones or something like that. That's the purpose of the device. What I actually bought it for originally was to connect to my camera because I thought, well, wouldn't it be great if I can use these uh, Bluetooth wireless headphones and plug in the Trond into here, where these are connected at the moment, so the um, headphone out on the camera, and just have this ha hanging down like this, you know, just tuck it away somewhere. It's really quite discreet and it's really quite light. And then, you know, there's no, you don't, you don't have this cable when you're using the camera. I mean, how wonderful would that be? But the test today is to see whether or not the latency on aptX is actually as good as they claim and good enough to use in this situation. I, I can't really get a perfect way of doing this actually just because of limitations I've got on uh, Bluetooth equipment that support the receiving of aptX. The only thing I have really is on my on my headphones that I know to be aptX. Like for example, my my MacBook will will happily um, send you know send that. I think it, I think it supports aptX anyway, uh, but the. Anything else I have doesn't, so I'm going to have to do this in a pretty botchy way, so please bear with me. Right, so here's our slightly botched setup. We have um, a uh, Tascam recorder, and plugged into that is our uh, shotgun mic. And then this is just monitoring via a cable for now, so this is direct into the headphones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lav mic off, off the... Um, off the camera here and I'm going to put that next to the headphones. So what you should be able to hear actually is that working? What you should be able to hear out of the headphones and equally on um, the uh, on the camera is my voice. So coming out of the headphones from the shotgun mic through the Tascam and out of the headphones. And then what I'm going to do is instead I'm going to plug in the Trond into the headphone out of my Tascam and do it uh, using the Trond and see what the delay is. All right, so t about 10 minutes later I'm with you after having managed to get this uh, paired up with my headphones. That took a while, but um, I think it's largely because of the fact that well, I have no idea why it took so long, actually. But let's give it a try now, and let's see what the delay is like, if you can hear it. It does seem to be, I've just had a quick listen, it does seem to be much, much quieter uh, on uh, the Bluetooth transmission rather than wired. But, you know, you could expect that, maybe. So let's see whether I can get this to play. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. I just had a quick listen back to that, and it seems that was incredibly quiet. Um, I, what I'm going to have to do, I think, is move me a bit further away so you can hear the headphones a bit louder. Um, right, let's try that again. Let's try popping the, head, the, the mic against the head, right against the headphone like that. I'm going to move, move the headphones a bit further away and move the mic a bit further away. And now, now I'm going to speak, speak into, into the, the mic, mic like that. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. And hopefully you'll be able to hear something out of the headphones via the Trond transmitter. So really, that's about as uh, scientific as I'm going to get on this one, I'm afraid. <laughs> not terribly... Uh, well, not terribly good quality and not terribly scientific. Well, it's, it's pretty good because... What I can be sure of is there's absolutely zero latency on the uh, on the on the standard headphone out on the on the field recorder on the DR100. But what I can't be sure of is uh, how the Trond is transmitting. So I'm assuming it's connecting in aptX mode. I think it is, but you can hear for yourself there. In kind of conclusion, I guess that. 
although aptX might be good enough for watching a video back, so your brain is fairly forgiving when it comes to kind of lip sync, it is certainly not a solution for monitoring if you have and insist on a real-time monitor in the field so actually to listen to, to dialogue you know that you can also hear as well potentially in your ears it's not really going to be good enough if you can't hear it in your ears so if you if you're far enough away or something so you can't actually hear it yourself that it's going to be pretty good but if you're right next to the person who you're shooting on camera and you can hear them that's going to be pretty off-putting and there's certainly not a small enough latency there to get around that problem what i might do now is quickly take the sound file into um, Audition and have a look and see if we can actually work out how long that latency is. Just to give a little bit of a background on Aptex, there are different types. You have standard Aptex, enhanced, live, lossless, and low latency, and they all sort of function in a slightly different uh, way, I suppose, and they're all meant for slightly different things. But Aptex low latency here, which is what I'm hoping we're using, says it gets... A, uh, an end-to-end -end latency of around about 32, 40, so less than 40 milliseconds, uh, which is required for audio to video synchronization. Mm, okay, well this, so this is the device we're using. This is the Trond, and uh, I think I'm using the, the version before this, but uh, previously Tron Bluetooth Duo only supported Aptex low latency and Aptex in the transmitter mode, but we we are using it in the transmitter mode. So even if I do have the older version, it does support both those codecs. So I think I'm pretty safe in what I'm kind of using for this. And here is the file that I've just got off the camera, so you can hear see me here talking at the start. Listen back to that, and it seems that. And uh, these are the kind of tests I was doing with the lav mic against the headphones let's see how that comes out let's just push up the level a bit on this a bit further away and now, now i'm going to speak, speak into, into the mic, mic like, like that, that. One, one, two, two, one, two, one two one two one two one two okay so it's really not clear at all is it uh, it's a pretty rubbish way of doing it but uh just couldn't find a better way unfortunately so okay so we've got our nice little clicks here very good so there's one and there's the second one. So that's the one, That's the. this is the live one, and this is the delayed one. Yeah. Yeah. Right, good. So if I zoom in on this, and let's have a look at the latency that we're, that we're actually talking about here. So here's the start of the waveform. Let's bring that across to the start of the delayed waveform. And let's have a look at our latency. Well, we're on 137 milliseconds there. Let's just try another one. And move across to here. Absolutely bang on each time. I and mean, we're getting a, you know, this is to the, to a thousandth of a second and we're getting it exactly the same each time. So it's pretty conclusive there that the delay on this device when put through, you know, a system. So I've basically monitored it out of the headphone socket of a field recorder with z where there's zero latency and uh, into my headphones where there may be an additional latency on that side but obviously the idea is it's kept to a minimum um is 137 milliseconds i mean that's huge that is probably well it's probably still probably okay to watch video but as far as monitoring is concerned you can hear for yourself from this and hopefully, hopefully you'll, you'll be able, able to, hear to hear something, something out, out of the headphones, headphones. that's the sort of echo and latency that we're talking about 137 milliseconds more than I expected. Thanks for watching, and uh, again, sorry for the slight kind of unscientific approach of this test, but I think I'm almost, almost going to have a feature of my channel that is unscientific tests, because um, I just like playing around with things, seeing what I can work out. If you like the video, please do subscribe, and uh, if you've got any questions or comments or better ways of doing this, uh, please put them below and I'll uh, try and respond to you. I always try and respond to people within about 24, 48 hours. I'm always checking my kind of comments on different uh, videos that I do. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. I will catch you next time.